What's your experience with barriers to getting patients in the VA the right treatments? Is it is it easy to get a one of these gamma core devices and and some of the more esoteric treatments that you want to get your patients or or um, is it pretty easy? Have you worked things out? Yeah. So, so I, I so a couple of things on on, on that Dr. Shokin. So uh, the, my experience has been that there's some upfront time that has to be spent, sort of working with uh, with the team that that eventually will help you order the device. So, for example, um, and, and as you know, sort of uh, when I'm at the EHR and I want to order medication, I put it in, I assign it, and it's done. And I never have to like worry about like putting uh, creating an order set to get everything all set. So uh, when it comes to getting veterans neuromodu- neuromodulation, uh, so I had to work with our, our local team of prosthetics because in the VA prosthetics is, uh, is the group that oversees the ordering and distribution of uh, of neuromodulatory devices. So I had to work with them to come up with a system by saying, these are the patients that we've identified. This is how we order it. Uh, we, we take, we, and we had to develop sort of an order set to make sure that the right information was collected so that when they get their order, when prosthetics gets their order, they could fax it appropriately so that there's no delays in getting, uh, getting the therapy to the veteran. So yeah. uh, it took a little bit upfront. And uh, so, but I, I, I I'm a big believer in you, you get a, uh, the right team members together if, and everybody wants you to be on the same page and get something done, then, then it gets done. And, and we've shared that's that the, the text for that order set with countless veterans, uh, uh, countless, countless other VA medical centers. So this mm-hmm. way, uh, as so places don't have to go and recreate the wheel. Right. Right. Okay, great. How about your experience, Dr. Hoffman, any barriers still to tackle? No, not anymore. Um, I, I agree with Dr. Sicko. We we did the same. We made pr- uh, good friends with prosthetics. <laughs> we, we didn't Zoom them and we didn't phone them. We walked over to their department and we introduced ourselves and, and told them, listen, we really um, are very optimistic about this new device and and we're going to write the orders and um, and they're going to send it out. It is prosthetic, so it's different to to pharmacy, of course. And it's worked exceptionally well. I've even had um, people in our prosthetics department overnighted to patients that insisted they needed it right away. And they're very happy to do it. And I think they're getting good feedback from the patients because they, you know, we reorder these devices all the time. And they tell prosthetics, but yeah, this, this works. We're happy with it. And so prosthetics then uh, plays a part in the treatment of the veteran and it's generally good news. And I think it all works pretty well. But yes, you do have to make friends face-to-face with them first. 